can't wait. I fought two white boys. Beat both of them. I need a black boy now. And it ain't on some racist shit. No, it's to unite all of us together. Remember that. It's to unite. Because I know all the black community, one thing is in, in for certain is that we all are what? Christian. And we all believe in Jesus, the Son of God. So in those moments right there, I get to show you how the faith of really what God So after Tio from Lopez said, he now needs a black boy after he beat two white boys. Shakur Stevenson came out checking Tio from Lopez for being racist time and time again. Shakur said, quote, man using race because he don't sell. Imagine not being able to sell more than 5K in your home city. I feel for you, blood. End of the quote. I completely disagree with Shakur. If that's the case, then why doesn't Tio has a fight coming up? It ain't like Tio has a fight coming up and he's saying all of these racist things to sell tickets. Tio doesn't even have a fight coming up. Therefore, if that's his motive, he's doing all of this for no reason. He's being racist for no reason because he has no tickets to sell. He might as well get a fight and then do all of these racist things, which is why I completely disagree with Shakur. You guys have to see how Tiofimo Lopez is always only attacking one race. Peep High Tio never told ESPN, keep the white fighters, I'm leaving ESPN because of that. I'm not going to fight on the same network as the white fighters. Tio didn't say that. Tiofimo Lopez only had a problem with the black fighters. He told ESPN, I'm not going to fight on the same network as the black fighters. It's either them or me. Ironically, he said later on he needs a black boy. However, he don't want to fight on the same network as black fighters. That don't even logically make sense. You can't have it both ways. You see, if Teofimo Lopez truly wanted to fight a black fighter to the point where he's being racist with it, saying that he needs a black boy, then why did he tell ESPN, I'm leaving ESPN because I don't want to fight on the same network as black fighters instead of telling ESPN, give me these black fighters. I'm fiending to fight one of them so I can beat them. I need a black boy. Why he didn't do that? If Teofimo Lopez said that to ESPN instead, they would have had gave him all of the black fighters to fight. In fact, they still given him the black fighters to fight today, like Brian Norman, Shakur, and Keyshawn on ESPN. The answer is clear as day, is because he shook of them. Just like how he was shook of Keyshawn who knocked out his father in front of him and he didn't do anything about it. Keyshawn knocked out his father for simply saying the N-word. So whatever happened to Tiafuma Lopez needing a black boy or wanting to beat a black boy, just like he turned down the Shakur fight, just like he turned down the Brian Norman fight, just like he turned down the Devin Haney fight. This man is racially clout chasing, completely trolling. He don't want to fight. All Tiafuma Lopez is doing is simply being himself. This is his true colors. And this has nothing to do with Tiafuma Lopez wanting to sell the fight since he don't even have a fight scheduled or lined up. Tiafuma Lopez has always been attacking one race, which is also why Tiafuma Lopez told Crawford and Javante, y'all monkeys to me. And then he went on to say, I need a black boy. Well, Tiafuma Lopez can be as racist as he want. He definitely is not going to accomplish anything by doing so, except of showing the world that he has the devil characteristics of being racist. This is who Tiafuma Lopez truly is. Nothing less, nothing more. He's just showing the world that he came out of the closet and he's proud of having the devil characteristics. With the opinions out of the door and the facts laid out on the table, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And all right, well, you, you a monkey to me right now. And, and <laughs> it is what it is. It's a fight game. This is my last fight on ESPN. Oh, ooh. Yeah.
I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. This is why this fight means everything to me. If they want the black fighters, they could keep them. I brought Bud Light to the top rank. If they want the black fighters, they could keep them. I thought Sandra Martin absolutely won that fight. I feel bad for Martin, honestly. You know, I thought he won the fight. I'm going to let you know right now. I thought Martin won this fight. He outboxed Lopez. I thought he embarrassed him. Bro, do I still have it? Do I still got it? Yeah. Hey. Tiafimo Lopez Jr., you done. Ah! You done went over there to the Cannon May show and you lying like a. Every opportunity to fight, we put it on the table for you, including an opportunity with Turkey Alashi and your company, Top Rank, just a couple of months ago. But I'm going to let you know, and the people, Devin Haney wants to fight you whenever, wherever, including right now. So, let's see what your fat mouth daddy got to say about that. They love black fighters. I mean, they, they're the best at what they do. You know, black people are very athletic, bro. They, they, nobody can beat them. And I understand that. He understood that he was wrong with what he said. You know, but it has nothing to do with race. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with that. You know, but you can't mention the word black nowadays because everybody gets offended, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a word that you cannot use. And I told him, you know, you got to talk to the media, apologize and let them know that you had no, like he didn't say it like in a, in like in a racist way, bro. He just said it like, you know, top rank is really just focusing on the black fighters because it's the market, you right. know, it's the marketing strategy, you know, they see that that's what people mm. want to see. They love black fighters. I mean, they, they're the best at what they do. You know, black people are very athletic, bro. They, they, nobody can beat them. And I understand that, you know, but we get the chance to prove to the world that my son could be the best fighter in the world. 